Welcome to the course where we're going to learn JavaScript unit testing from the beginning. And no prior knowledge of testing is required. During the course we're going to be using one of the most popular testing tools for JavaScript applications called Vitest, which is based on another popular build tool, Vit. And that means that if your project is based on Vit, Vitest can reuse existing Vit configuration to run tests. And as for the application that we're going to test, it will be Vue.js application. But we're not going to test any Vue.js related parts. We will fully focus on testing native JavaScript code. So link to this repository will be in the video description. And now I'm gonna switch over to the terminal. I already have a terminal session opened inside root folder of the project. And the first thing that we have to do is to actually install npm dependencies. So let's run npm install. And after that, to run this application in the browser, we just have to run npm run dev. Let's switch over to the browser and take a look at the application. Just to give you an idea of what this application is all about, even though we're not going to be testing any UI related or Vue.js related code, but still it is good to know what this application actually is. So here we can create different activities for ourselves. Then we can assign time for each activity that we'd like to spend doing that activity. And then start measuring time for each activity throughout the day by using these stopwatches. So as was already said, we're not going to test any Vue.js or UI related functionality. And if you're curious to see how this application has been built from scratch, I'm going to leave a link to the playlist in the video description, which shows how we were building this application from scratch. And also there will be a link to another playlist, where we have fully converted that application from JavaScript to use TypeScript. So before installing Vitest, let's talk a little bit about VS Code extensions that I'm going to use. To be able to see static errors and warnings related to quality of the code, right from VS Code, I'm going to use ESLint extension. Next one, file utils extension, allows to quickly create files and folders. Then I'm going to use Prettier extension to automatically apply formatting to source files. Next one is Pretty TypeScript errors extension, and this extension shows TypeScript formatted errors in a more readable way. Even though this course is about JavaScript testing, but we're actually going to use TypeScript, because everything that we're gonna learn regarding testing using TypeScript is also going to be applicable to JavaScript files. Next extension is called Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. That is because current project uses Tailwind CSS framework. The next extension is called Trailing Spacing. And what this extension does is it actually removes trailing spaces whenever we're gonna save files. And also just because current application is built on Vue.js, I also have official Vue extension installed to provide support for Vue-related files inside VS Code. And also I have a couple more extensions that add Vue-related snippets. So now that we have finished talking about extensions, it's time to start installing Vitest. In here, let's open up the guide. And the command that we have to run to install Vitest is this one. And also please note, since we're going to be using latest version of Vitest, which is 1.5.0 at the time of this recording, we have to ensure that the current version of Vit in our project is higher or equal to 5, and no JS version should be higher or equal to 18. So let's switch back to the terminal and run this command to install Vitest. And right after the installation process is finished, I'm going to open up package.json and in here to the list of these available scripts I'm going to add one more script to run tests. I'm gonna call it test and this script is going to run vtest. So basically we will be able to run npm test or npm run test at the root of our project to run all tests. Let's try it out. I'm gonna run npm test as we can see, Vitest has given us an error. That is because currently we don't have any tests in our project. And also please note that current project uses Vit as a build tool 
and we already have a configuration file vit.config.ts and just because vit's testing framework is based on vit it is going to reuse this configuration so we don't have to add any additional configurations which is pretty cool I prefer running tests in a separate terminal application but if you prefer there is a VS Code extension called vtest which allows you to run tests right from within VS Code so if you prefer doing it this way feel free to install this extension now let's take a quick look at the folder structure of the project here inside components folder we have a bunch of view components that we are not going to touch in this course so instead we're going to focus on testing individual functions that do not depend on any view related APIs so the things we're going to learn in this course regarding testing will be applicable in any JavaScript application so now that we have installed vtest and done with all the initial preparation we are ready to start writing our first test that we're going to do in the next lesson link to the source code of this lesson will be in the video description